This is the Mass Drop Gavco Thresher made by Wee Knives. And uh, the knife Thresher, or the name Thresher, uh, refers to this very shark here, the Thresher Shark, uh, that uh, uses this uh, cartoonishly long tail to uh, whip up schools of fish and get them to go towards its mouth. I guess he stuns them with his tail and he comes up and devours them with his uh, mouth. I always thought it was a super cool shark. I know uh, Michael Gavick, the designer uh, and uh, custom maker of these uh, custom knives, uh, is a big shark fan because he, uh, he names his knives after sharks. And uh, I just so happened to have this very old print that I got in the Outer Banks when I was a little kid. And uh, we have it hanging on the wall here at home, so I thought I'd just bring it out. But yes, the Thresher. So this is my first, uh, this is a first for me. It's my first Gabco knife. I wish I had many others, but I don't. And, uh, you know, his knives are quite expensive. Uh, but he's had a number of uh, production knives and more coming. He has this knife, the Thresher, also coming out uh, from BRS, I believe. It's a little bit longer. Um, but anyway, uh, his, his knives are uh, things of beauty, and I've been admiring his sort of growth from a, uh, uh, from a beginner on YouTube to now I just kind of drool over his offerings on Instagram on a daily basis. He's, he just has one amazing knife after another built on certain themes. Um, this uh, Thresher theme, I guess the handle is usually the same shape and the blade is usually the same shape but it has a lot of variations. And this uh, Mass Drop collaboration that he did uh, has come out in six variations. Uh, three that are in this handle color and three that are in uh, standard um, stonewashed gray titanium color. And uh, there are two different sculpted handle styles and uh, the, other, the others have uh, stonewashed blades. So I picked the almost the most simple one. Uh, it is has uh, no contouring on the handles uh, other than light chamfering around the sides and it has uh, these flat slabs of titanium and uh, the um, satin finish. And uh, I love this knife. I am... I just wish it were ever so slightly larger. I understand I can get a BRS but um, this knife, the, the very first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, amazing. I wish it were a little larger, but that's, that's me. I like four inch blades, ideally. This is a three and a half inch S35 VN blade that is exquisitely ground, super thin and uh, uh, tall by Wee Knives. Look at that. And uh, the shape of the knife with these uh, two dips. It's a clip point blade, but it's modified and it has a shark-like appearance or it's evocative of the shapes you might see on a shark. And then uh, with these beautiful swedges right, right on the edge here that are, you know, just decorative, but oh so beautiful. Add something to this, this blade. Um, like I said, it's a supreme slicer and it's got this insanely acute tip, which I have been very careful with. And uh, I tend to drop tips like this, tip down. And uh, that always leads to uh, massive frustration. Uh, so yeah, this knife uh, has a titanium frame lock and uh, this lack of contouring is also a little bit of a a roadblock for me from truly, truly loving and carrying this on a daily basis. Um, I think I should have gotten one of the other ones. I think I would have been slightly happier. But that being said, this is a slab-sided knife like a Sabenza, for instance, and uh, I I have no no ultimate long-time issues with this. And I am such a fan of the design and uh, in general, it feels so good in hand and works so well as a daily use knife that I am going to keep this. And this will probably be the only Michael Gavick knife in my collection until I find that proverbial briefcase full of cash and gold and I start uh, buying the real deal. So uh, you'll notice a couple of things. Uh, the hardware, the thumb lugs are 
uh, black, I think to be evocative of the large black eyes you'll see on a thresher shark. And yet the, uh, the hardware here is anodized the same color as the handle, which is a really uh, cool detail, something I never thought of uh, as desirable, but uh, well, now that I see it, it is. It's cool. I like it. Uh, the pocket clip is 3D machine titanium, works beautifully. It's got just enough spring, but it's loose enough to, uh, and uh, deep enough here to accommodate chunkier pants. Of course, the double the double reinforced tactical pants are always kind of an issue, and I haven't tried this on those yet. Um, beautifully centered and uh, riding on bearings. It's got great action. Uh, not super duper duper fall shutty. I have not taken it apart. I have uh, my first order of KPL, or I should say my first bottle of knife pivot lube on the way and I'm going to go on a little tour of my collection and take out some knives and do some disassembling and some lubing and this is one that's going to get it. Look at that. Look at the shape of that blade. I mean it's just gorgeous. It's uh, I, I think it's inherently pleasing to the eye and uh, it may sound like I've been busting on the handle but actually the contours of the handle are, are so perfect. Um, in this dimension, in the two dimensions, that I wish I had treated myself to the special contours that this knife offers in this dimension. So uh, next time, I'll do that. Uh, another thing this knife would benefit from, though unnecessary because of the awesome ergonomics and grip and how locked in you are, but a nice row of fine jimping a la the, the Sebenza would be nice right up here. It would just feel good on the fingers, I gotta say, or on the thumb. Speaking of fingers, this blade is good for this kind of uh, this kind of action, kind of choking up and draw cutting because that tip is so thin and fine. Just be careful uh, when you do that, not to not to mash down with too much pressure. Masher. Clip point blade. Now this uh, this gives me much consternation. I kind of wish I got a model with the uh, with the um, stone wash blade. I, I feel I would enjoy it a little bit more. This thing I'm constantly seeing my thumb print on there from doing this you can't help but get your thumb print down there and then suddenly you're like god are my hands that greasy geez i can't flip open my knife without leaving a big gnarly but it's not me i'm not that greasy it's it's this beautiful satin finish on the blade um you know so so this is made by wee knives and i have two other wee knives and gee what do you know i have them close at hand I have the uh, the Rectifier, kind of a funny name, but the Rectifier, and I really, really love this little knife. Oh my God, this knife is amazing. Um, so yeah, Rectifier. Uh, this is not as smooth as the Rectifier, I'd say. Well, it's pretty darn, but not exactly as. And then I have this beast, the 609, this big, purple and gold kind of gaudy Lamborghini of a knife and this thing is just ridiculously smooth you just I mean it you just gotta kind of get your thumb out of the way and it'll just close on its own it's a beautiful beautiful knife but so these are me these are these are me three wees uh, and uh, I'm very impressed with them overall as a company, so I knew that getting this would be uh, good. So, what are my conclusions with this knife? Well, let me let me roll in a couple of size comparisons as I do, as I tell you what I think of it. Um, there it is with a leak, and there it is with a Sebenza. That's a three inch. This is a 3.6 inch. Here it is with a frenzy. So it's a good size, three and a half inches, but uh, as I've mentioned numerous times now, I wish it were just a slightly uh, bit bigger. I think I would carry it every single day. That, that Bowie shape, that blade is to me evocative of one of my favorite, favorite, favorite all time blade shapes, which is the SOG Bowie shape. So this sort of up and down dipping of the blade uh, just, I don't know, does it for me. And it's evocative of waves, you know, 
baby seals, I guess, and and sharks and uh, so aesthetically, this thing wins the day for me. And so any any little gripes I might have about size or the or or my wrong choice with not getting the contoured handles. Um, uh, those are all on me. I find it's generally best when I'm spending this kind of money to just spend the extra $30 and spoil myself. I end up being happier and using the knife more. Um, so this, I think that if you can, if they still have it on Mass Drop, and if you like the design, you will not be disappointed with the build quality or the action or uh, anything about the fit and finish or anything about this knife. I mean, it, it is spectacular. So if you like it, uh, you know, and you don't think you're ever going to spend the money on a on a on a Gavco knife, I would say uh, go out and drop some cash on the mass drop. Oh God, that was that was so pedestrian of me. Anyway, guys, super cool knife. Check it out. Talk to you later.